Let's start by looking at who secures what in a cloud computing scenario. I always say that security in the cloud is a partnership between the cloud provider and you as the client. At a high level, the cloud provider operates and secures the base infrastructure and, most of the time, the host operating system layers while you control and secure the identities, for example, and any extra additional application settings. For example, setting up multi-factor authentication. This is not a set-in-stone list, the responsibility highly depends on the service type that you have hosted. For example, in an infrastructure as a service, the customer has a lot more responsibilities than in a software as a service. If we look at our for most common deployment types, on-premises, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and finally, software as a service. Let's start by talking about on-premises, which is the easiest one. Basically, on-premises the customer is responsible for securing everything from the physical data center to the network, host, application, all the way to the data governance and rights management. If we move on to infrastructure as a service, the cloud provider now takes care of the physical data center, physical network, and physical hosts. However, everything over it, such as operating system, application, account and access management falls under your responsibility as a client. Moving on to platform as a service, the customer has less things to worry about, and some of them, as you see, have a split responsibility. Remember that platform as a service allows customers to put their own code on a platform ran by the provider, so for the application part, it's split because if the code you put on there contain vulnerabilities, it's the customer's responsibility, not the cloud provider's. There are different things such as account and access management, client endpoints, data and governance, and rights management will still always be the responsibility of the customer. Lastly, software as a service where the cloud provider hosts and therefore is responsible of most security settings. Even in the service type, security will always be a partnership and the customer is responsible for account and access management, client endpoints, as well as the data governance and rights management. This is pretty generic to every cloud provider out there, but going back to Microsoft 365, which is the topic of today's course, you might wonder what tools do I have as a Microsoft 365 customer to secure my parts and my responsibility of the cloud. Most of those tools to secure your part of the cloud are in the Microsoft Enterprise Mobility and Security Suite, also known as EMS. EMS is an intelligent mobility management and security platform. It helps protect and secure your organization and empowers your employees to work in new and flexible ways. EMS is made out of multiple products, the main ones being Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Intune, Azure Information Protection, Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics, and Azure Advanced Threat Protection. While not going into details in this module, those are really the main products out there to secure Microsoft 365. 